Hello creatives, welcome back to the moment of investing your time to have a profitable value in exchange. I'm um, Aditife. So here is what we have today. Um, yes, based on popular demand on how to download PSD files, how to extract it, and how to use it on Photopea to arrive at a realistic mock-up design. So before I continue on today's video, we'll be designing a book cover mock-up, and with this. This single thing, uh, yeah, this single video, I'm going to walk us through a short video on how to download the mock-up we'll be using in this video, as well as extract it, and also to have a full knowledge on how to download premium PSD file. Please it right here. Check the video description below. There, I have a full guide there for you on how to download any kind of mock-up you might be needing for your design projects for your design projects and in the course of this video this single video will carry a lot of things one how to download or uh, the mock-up we'll be using now and this mock-up or uh, it's a zip file so based on this and as i made mention earlier i'll walk us through how to extract the psd file out of the zip file and I will show us the necessary app we are to download to extract this all in one video. And yes, the last but not the least, how to use this mockup on Photopy to make a realistic book cover mockup design. And yeah, here is it. Before we dive in into the video, you know, cool. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And Another thing again, don't forget to comment your thoughts on this video, what you felt, how this particular video has helped you or how this channels have helped you in one way or the other. And another thing, don't forget to share this video. I'm Aditife. So let's dive into this. So here we are, Green Mind. Uh, for the book cover, we're going to design or uh, the size we'll be making use of is free pick. I know most of us are familiar with free pick, and I know most of us have been using this free pick to download uh, maybe background or other assets for design. But in today's tutorial, we'll be downloading our PSD file from free pick, and this free this file we'll be downloading is a zip file. A zip file from free pick, and from this or we'll, we'll unzip the file and the unzip one is what we'll use because i know most of us are having downloading and extracting our psd file so let's just go into this so let's enter chrome okay and on our search bar we have free pick does come and right here we have it so we we'll click on enter while waiting for this to load um yes okay and okay here is the uh interface the first interface welcome interface you see when you come to free page and if you look at the assets at the front here we have vectors we have photos we have videos and we have PSD as well as templates and here what we are after is PSD and here you have it right here here you have the PSD so click on it okay cool so the next thing for us to do is to go straight to what we are after by going to our search bar here on free pick and uh, we need what book cover okay cover and we click on enter this right here oh have we entered that no let's cancel this and click on this again click on enter kindly watch uh, my finger taps it's showing broadly so that you know what i click on as well as i'm using my mouse and illustrating what i click on so for us to uh, for easier understanding i hope you're getting it so that i won't be confused and uh one thing again play 
close attention so you won't be be, be around still still unable to get what you've been taught again still carry on and, and implement pay close attention so here we have it this is the psd file we need right here this mockup is what we are downloading and as well as you see there are other mockups here the other mockups here like book cover mockups and if we scroll down if we scroll down we have up to 200 plus looking at this looking at this we have page one of 200 and we still have up to 199 pages left to scroll so you see there are a lot of resources on this so let's go for what we are here for uh, and this is it let's click on the image right here let me zoom this back if you notice something this uh i'm using desktop mode actually i'm using desktop mode that is why this is showing fully like this if it is on mobile view it will be showing this way so the next thing is to click on download we click on download clicking on download you see uh, a down arrow beside the download that is what we are going to click on and it will display on uh, the main psd file and if you watch it has a main psd file and it says download zip this is the zip file we are going to download and if you look at the psd file the psd is 13.57 mb and mind you this jpeg that is the image that is so you don't make mistake downloading image of psd we needed the psd so the main psd file is 13.57 mb but so as for us to save uh up to seven megabytes we are going to download the zip file which is just 6.15 megabyte so let's click on download zip okay oh wow let's wait for this to display find name already is 60 okay let's download again because i have something like this before so let's download and uh, uh it is this network is really 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 bad this shouldn't be loading in kilobytes at all but yes we are sick good we are cool we cool let's wait for this to fully download okay 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 and one sec we're done so after that we've downloaded that already so the next thing for us is to go back home and yes we needed uh, an app name which is called um yes which is called x achiever which is called x achiever so if you don't have x achiever on your phone kindly go to google play store kindly go to google play store okay this is play store locate play store on your device and yes uh before i forgot this let me search for this photo p because it's photo p we are going to use but i want to make correction on this uh okay let's leave this i don't want uh, anything like um a trademark or copyright stuff using or uh, but let's just go let's leave that so let's click on x achiever okay and this is the app right here this is the app we'll be downloading and uh, we'll make use of you click on x archiver if you download this x archiver any uh any file you download be it zip be it uh, 7z file or anything it's from this x archiver that you can extract them and you can do a lot of stuff with this particular app next thing for you is to just click on download the reason why i won't be clicking on this download and the reason why it's showing still showing install is because uh i haven't i didn't install this i am using the pro version of x archiver so i'll actually provide that for you all as well um uh, and after watching the video you can just check the video description down there to download it and on um, other resources i might be providing after the video so let's just go go back up uh, so we're done installing that so let's just go right here and locate our x archiver and we have our x archiver right here this is the pro i'm using so click on it 
so and i downloaded this to my uh sd card storage so let's locate it and before we locate it in like click on this um pardon me one thing if you are just installing x archiver for the first time it will ask you to give it access to your storage and others you have to give it access for it to have access to all of your files for you to be able to use them correctly on x archiver so let's create the file that we extract what we want to copy to we are clicking on this add button right here um clicking on this that is a new file so let's delete this and let's name this book cover okay we already created that and here we have it so let's look at the one we just done let's go into our android data com dot android dot com and files download uh let me click on this out just click on this Clicking on it and click on date and click out of that and bring it right here. If you want to load the drive, this is right here. Add copy. So tap copy. You see, press on it and click on copy. So after I've copied it, you will notice there is this paste icon don't click on it yet the next thing for us to do is to come to the top right here come to the top right here and click on this down arrow and click back on my sd card and go to my book cover and yeah i've already clicked on the book cover folder empty so i'll click on this paste icon and i'll paste it right here so after placing the zip file after placing the zip file so the next thing for me to do is to just tap on it and click on extract here and click on extract it that is that is how to extract a zip file or an archive file i hope you're getting it is either you extract it to to the file that is already downloaded in or you create a new file the way i did mine and extract it inside of it i hope you are getting it so let's click on extract here and okay we have it right here we have the biggest the biggest day it to psd the psd file you done so be in psd this this is just this particular one in image size I'm teaching you some trick on getting the the original size for a mock-up but that will not be. kindly stick around um expect a video on that i know many of us might be having issues with sizing of our of files when it comes to psd you no know, we may not get the size correctly so done that let's go back to our chrome clicking on home and clicking on chrome okay so the next thing is to click on my search bar right here and that photo p okay so just click on photo p dot com that is it and click on enter oh okay having a river network connectivity here Let's remove this photo p oh it's downloading okay instead of this then let's just go to our tab and add a new tab instead add new tab and click on this 
search bar click on photopea.com and enter So okay right here, photo piece is downloading and the next thing we will have to do looking at this interface we have just this we have this theory if we needed it might need just this theory but out of this theory that are displayed right here we only need we only need just this guy right here we only need the open computer the computer so let's go here Let's click on open from computer and it will redirect us to our files. To redirect us to our files. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we do is to click on downloads. And this download will direct us to our story files, to the story files of your phone. I hope you're paying close attention. Wow. This is this is okay. So, right here, guys, we click on this burger icon right here. You know what I mean by burger icon? I always use this illustration anytime I'm doing video. This is the burger icon I actually mean. So, click on this, and um, yes, we'll go to. Uh, we'll go to our Sandix because this is where uh, what we have is. Or uh, go to X Archiver. No, let's just go to Sandisk. And uh, we have it right here, book cover. And the PSD file is the one we are to click on this why is this illusion okay is that that we click this or we click this oh my god or we click this so let's click this three view yeah Let's click on this PSD. Oh, we're waiting for this to load. And once it completes loading, in some minutes, we'll be done with the book over we are designing or uh, we are mocking up rather. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop your comments, what you feel about the video. Any question you that might be bothering you, just drop it concerning this video. And don't forget to share. It's important this way you are giving me a go ahead to always drop a valuable content on this channel at the tv and yeah let's leave that it's downloading already so this is the real deal the big deal we have here like the actual pop-up work so the next thing for us to do is to click on the, our layers you see the layers right there click on it so we are going for the front view of the front view first so let me mark this can if you notice this the video i did some this area i said when so you see this icon you double tap it you double tap it so if you look at this we have the front double click front view the back view and the spine view you know the spine of a book right so let's double tap on this we are going for the front cover first okay successfully done so the next thing for us to do is to add every single thing right here every single thing here we have to add it we don't need them we are importing our own image instead so let's one two three four five six seven done cool is there any other one so click 
on your layers again to see if it's empty now it's empty that's cool so the next thing for us to do is to click on file click on file click on file I have to illustrate this it's on popular demand and uh, they needed an illustration as for everyone to get how things is so you click on file and click on open and place click on open and place and this will redirect us again click on download so we click back here um since anywhere you save the distance um what I, what I want to say is the image you want to use that is where you go so my book cover is located on um, pixel app so and here is my front view right here here's my front view and that's the first thing we are going for so i'll click on it and let's wait for this by itself it will load on this on the private site yeah the private site uh, and i said earlier and possibly i might put that on my to-do list because i have a very 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 broad to-do list so yeah we already have it so the next step is to click back on file and click on save smart objects and one thing i want to do all oh, to take note of again is oh, i received a lot of dms the past few weeks like back to back that um whenever anyone clicks on their ps device it's not showing save smart object the reason why it's not showing is because it's either you only imported the image or you or imported the wrong or uh, ps file or the ps file you imported is corrupt it's either one of the two it's either you import the image you know i show you some uh an image of this that we uh we downloaded the jpeg image if you in, if you if you open that one instead as psd it will never you will never see save smart objects and if you do not click that icon that icon very well it won't save smart objects there are a lot of things associated with this thing so just pay close attention and say the perfect way to do it are we getting it okay let's go and if you are gaining value if you haven't liked this video kindly do that now and don't forget to subscribe oh let's forget that so the next thing for us to do now is to click on save smart object and this save smart object is very tricky if the network is bad are we getting it it's very tricky if the network is bad so let's just click on it now you can double tap on it and you can click on it just once so let's wait for this to give us uh, a sign up here telling us smart objects updated did you see the smart object that is just written now and it's disappeared since that has been done the next thing for us to do right now is to just click on this our psd file the one that we open from computer this one i'll be getting it that's the first one we opened so that's what we are clicking on right now so tap on it and let's wait for the magic to happen This is taking longer than I expected. Okay, let's stop again. Okay, cool. Here we have it. We have the front view already. So the next thing for us to do again is to come to our layers on the first PSD file. Still clicked on. I will still show you some stuff, but let's finish this up first. So click back on our layers and this second back one this particular one this is what we are going for right now so double tap the eye again and let's wait for us to show us the next thing to do again and there is one thing again you know we hide the first one so let's see what we are going to do with this did we tap this at all let's see if this layers we click if it's click then we have to tap again i think you should tap that way 
if it still doesn't show that means we have to tap again that means we didn't tap that very well okay still the same thing oh wow I have to tap as many times as possible just to get this thing on point oh wow okay done successfully tapped it's very tricky if one did not tap that very well this code bar don't let it deceive you because it has that eye icon right also it's this code bar that is on the one that we downloaded and we needed it not so let's click on our layers and hide everything again this safe zone it's hidden already so we don't need to click it unless we want to hide what is in there so we have the transparent background already so as usual let's click on our file click on open and place it redirect us and click on download or uh, where it's located it's located in my pixel app app because that is where i designed it so this is the back so let me click on it yes uh, we have it right here this i just love the verse okay 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 so can someone just tell me what we are going to do next just let's see if we're getting it just from your brain i know i'm doing this video right now just from your brain just format it so what's the next thing to do the next thing to do is to do what click on fire and click save smart object and let's wait for the magic to happen again play pay close attention to the top of this screen you see uh, a boldly written word smart object updated if this thing cool if smart object did not show that means is that your network is bad or your phone ram is not is very your phone is slow and if that did not show we have nothing to do with the psd because it will not go so let's double tap on our 226.psd and uh, we have our front view is it for 11 again done we have the front view we have the back view now what we needed for the last one uh, is the on uh, spine cover the spine cover so we click on our layers and we click double tap on our spine cover they should be fast they should be fast they should be fast they should be, they should be. did i click that correctly uh, i guess not no not again this is tricky 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 because it's very very small and clicking it is not so i will double tap as many times as possible so done that is it if you click on it and wow i think i'm <laughs> i double tap more than normal so let's just bring this right here going this down no 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 we shouldn't make this up okay just pay close attention let me bring this down okay yeah i have the let me click on my back here yeah. i have this cancel button right here okay cool so let's hide this theory as usual and we have this spine right here we have the transparent spine so let's grow this let's bring this back to normal let's look at our fire cool so click on fire click on open and place and click on download the reason why those are uh, interface shows was because i i tapped too much like i tapped several times that's the reason why that shows up come let me off this 
Data Sirens. Okay, cool. So here I have the spine right here. I have the spine right here. I have the spine right here. So just click on it. Oh, click on the spine. Just wait for this. Yeah, we have this fine. So the next thing you know that already. So just click on five. Click on save smart object. Save smart object. Click on save smart object. Smart object updated. Right? That shows have been. So the next thing for us to do is just that should be long, not long again. And one thing again I want to show you before we close this up once this is done okay cool and you know the background we have here is um oh should i call this color what should i call this color but yeah let's just say we are to change the uh background of this design we want to change it to white we want to change the color to white so the next thing for us to do right here is for us to click on the layers click on the layers right here so after clicking on the layers you see this background see the background so the background is what we have to click on now because we are dealing with background so click on this arrow and you see the real not the color i don't understand this language but so no you just click on this eye icon now one first thing after you see i click on the eye icon let me click back on my layers this is transparent dealing with this you know we can actually download this transparent background and on our workspace either on our pc lab or canva we can just go and change the background we want to put or either want to put it on any other background again and zoom into our own side the transparent background on the transparent manga but yes again on p on photo p right here we can change the color of the background let's click on our layers and let's click on this background let's unhide it and double tap on it this one doesn't have any small little square or eye stuff on it just double tap i hope you're getting it and let's wait for that this will this will display all uh, the color palettes yeah this is the color palette this has cmyk if i'm right oh wow yes it has cmyk and it has rgb and you know most of designers now uses um pixel app and pixel app only supports uh rgb so don't let me go off point if i say i want to explain something like printing uh there will be a video on that very soon so looking at this looking at this this is where we are changing our color or is either we click that good is either we click that or we click on the one of the colors right here click on the one of the colors right here i hope you see it so let's just click on the white color here yes cool so we click on okay look at what i'm clicking that is the main reason why i'm illustrating everything i'm tapping do you see that okay cool so click on okay and we have a white background right here okay this you have a white background right here and using my two fingers to zoom this we have this perfectly placed perfectly placed and one thing before uh before we, we end this video do you know after the 226 psd we have the format 11 one format 11 2 and the um the spin of the book we have it right here so for us to have a, a small size coverage of this let's just cancel this three we already use them already this three this three format one format two or uh, let me use this and let me use this to illustrate it so we know what we are we are taking this off taking this off and taking this off right away and guess what it will not affect our design at all so one or two and the last one three cool and we have our design right here so to save this 
to save this to save this oh, okay let me zoom this back to its normal size to save this i already illustrate where the file is for us earlier so click on file click on file click on file and click on export as i hope you see the export as i have here right here export as so we are exporting this as png you can export this as jpeg svg and if you click on more which i'm not going to click on right now you will see other ways you can save export this as so we are going for png right now to export and save this to our device to use it and if uh you use your transparent background like i illustrated earlier you are to save this as uh, as png as well so as to be able to change the color on of the background on any workspace you are using it on so we have this right here the quality is at 100 uh, percent the size the full size is 3500 by 2500 in pixels and we can change the name right here but i'm not changing the name right now so the next thing is to click on save and it will always ask you to watch a short video ad before you can be able to uh to download it successfully so you just click on ok and wait for the video to load and once the video is loaded it will automatically download by itself and that's all don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and share this video i'm at dtf thank you see you in the next video tutorial and yes if my guess is right we invested our time in this and i know we gain a lot candy don't forget to drop your comments see you all later